Welcome to WCHS to episode 533 of WCTV. I'm Mackenzie Burney. And I'm Jacob Shute. In this episode, Florence will be discussing climate change and global warming. And George has information for us on pro-life and pro-choice. And Xavier will be talking about his passion, violent video games, and whether or not it creates violent teens. We'll be getting students' opinions on these topics. But first, we'll be back after this. So how far have you looked into the future, Mackenzie? I'm just a freshman. Do you really think I should be thinking that far ahead? Well, it is your future we are talking about here. You really think you're going to be in high school forever? Of course not. I just know that I want to visit Florida after I graduate. That's if Florida's even still there. Why wouldn't it be? Florida is currently prone to flooding because of rising sea levels. Hmm. What's making these sea levels rise? I'm going to save my breath and have Florence take care of this one for me. Florence? Good morning, WCHS. Today we'll be learning about climate change and what others think about it. Climate change is uh, the change that we see in our climate outside. It's when it gets hot outside or when it gets cold outside. It's really generalized by the overall trends that we see. And the trends that we're seeing right now is that it generally is warmer outside than it has been in past years. But if you look back in history um, at our climate change, it's really changed um, in the sense that there are times where it's a lot warmer and then times where it's a lot colder. So right now we're just in kind of that warmer uh, kind of upshift of our general climate. Climate change is a collection of greenhouse gases trapped in the Earth's atmosphere, uh, reflecting the sun's rays back onto Earth and not letting it go back out into outer space. Climate change is the warming of the Earth's surface because our atmosphere is thinning because of all these gases. Climate change is not real because it's a government scam. Uh, in bi science and biology lately, we've been learning a lot about climate change and the weather and everything that has to do with the Earth's atmosphere. Why would they be bothered teaching us this if it wasn't actually happening? Climate change is not real because how is snow possible? Because of all the pollution that humans are putting in the Earth, not just by all these power plant factories, but also using their cars. The effects long term, I don't see them really affecting us in our lifetime, but hundreds of years later, I think the, we could be able to trace back the causes of climate change back to some of the advancements that we've made in technology. Anything new today? And what is your opinion on climate change? This has been Florence York reporting for WCHS. It looks like I might get to visit Florida after all. You might be able to, but make sure you take that trip a little sooner. That's if I can find time. I have such a busy schedule. What about summer and weekends? Oh yeah, I never thought about that. But let's hope you make the right choice when you're there. Right. Some people don't know what choice to make when it comes to a lot of things. What do you mean? Well, many pregnant women often have a difficult decision on whether or not to get an abortion, depending on their situation. You're right. Let's send it over to George in, for more info. Abortion. Noun. The deliberate termination of a human pregnancy. A main view for my choice and pro-choice is that Especially in the school setting, students should not have to deal with the problems of raising a child on their own. The main pros in my view are promoting selflessness and giving every life a chance. I feel like in order for somebody to form their own opinion on abortion and have a valid opinion would be to at least hear someone else's story on this. Go forth, do your own research, and come to your own conclusions. This has been George, reporting for WCTV. There is some good reasoning behind both pro-life and pro-choice. I know, right? It starts to see different opinions on different topics and how people are willing to share them. Students even have an opinion on how video games affect our lives. How do video games have to do with anything? That's a good question. I'm not totally sure. So let's send it over to Xavier. Xavier? What's up, WCHS? It's me, Xavier Keenan, and today I'll be talking with a few high school students on how or how not the human brain is affected by video game violence. Let's find out. 
My main concern is that if people continue to believe that video games make people violent, that parents are going to prevent their children from playing a game that they may enjoy, that the parents believe will make them more violent. That will make the laws around age restrictions on video games a lot more strict and take video games away from more people. I have experience in this because my little cousin goes around thinking that he's shooting everyone because he watches his dad play violent video games. The benefit of playing video games would be um, they take away, it's a relief of stress and any other problems in life. My main concern is that it will make kids and teenagers think that it's okay to hurt people when they are older. I believe the reason video games don't make people violent is because we are compassionate uh, creatures and we know right, most of us know right from wrong and we're taught how to treat other people and we are able to tell the difference between reality and virtual reality. It was pretty interesting to figure out other people's views on video game violence, but this has been Xavier Keenan reporting for WCTV. Do you think teens will continue to play video, violent video games after hearing on this controversial issue? I don't know, but I don't think some of these kids will be playing video games very much this week. Why is that? They have a, we have a lot of things going on this week. Let's hear the upcoming activities. Starting today, there is a girls varsity and JV golf meet at Clear Lake with Algona. There is also a boys JV and varsity golf meet at home with Clear Lake and Algona at 4.30 p.m. Also on Friday, there is a girls JV and varsity tennis match with Grundy Center at 4.30 p.m. at home. Don't forget, ACT testing will be Saturday, April 13th at 8 a.m. There will be a varsity and JV golf tournament with Hampton Dumont, Iowa Falls, South Harden at Assembly Park on Saturday. Prom walk will be at 3 p.m. in the auditorium. Following that will be prom starting at 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. at the high school in the north and west lobbies. And following prom will be after prom at 1 a.m. at Fuller Hall. On Monday, there will be a boys JV and varsity tennis meet with Clear Lake at 4.30 p.m. at home. Along with that, there will be a girls JV and varsity track meet at Gilbert at 5 p.m. The last event occurring on Monday is a JV and varsity soccer game with Hampton Dumont at 5.30 p.m. Starting Tuesday the 16th, there will be a boys JV and varsity golf at Clarion Goldfield Dallas with St. Edmund at 4.30. Starting at 4.30 p.m. the same day, there will be a boys' JV varsity soccer game at South Harden. The girls will also have a golf meet at St. Edmund with Clarion Goldfield Dows at 4.30 p.m. And finishing off Tuesday, there will be a boys' varsity track meet at home at 5 p.m. On the 18th, the boys' JV and varsity tennis team will be competing against Owl Falls Alden at 4.30 p.m. at home. Then at 5, there will be a girls' varsity track meet at home while the boys track team will be at Pocahontas starting at 4.30 p.m. And finishing off the week, there will be a JV and varsity soccer game at 5.30 p.m. at Clear Lake. Seems like another busy week for the athletic peeps involved in spring sports. Well, with all this wonderful weather, you can't blame them for wanting to be out and active. Speaking of weather, let's have Daniel give us a little forecast on the weekend weather. Hey, it's Daniel with this weekend's weather. Friday will have a chance of rain and snow falling as light as a feather with a high of 41 degrees and a low of 29 with western winds going 18 to 23 miles per hour. So please remember to wear a sweater and bundle up. Saturday will have mostly sunshine. There will be no reason to whine with a high of 50 degrees, a low of 31 and northwestern winds going eight, 9 to 18 miles per hour. It's a guarantee. It's going to be a great day for prom, so hopefully it'll be a fun time. On Sunday, the skies will have a partly sunny makeup. It'll have a high of 48 degrees, a low of 30 degrees. It'll be a shakeup from the rest of the weekend. And northwestern winds going at 11 to 13 miles per hour, so hang out with a friend. Have a great weekend at prom. Thanks for the wonderful forecast, Daniel. I think we're all going to be digging the spring weather. Same here, Jacob. I can finally take a step out of my house without having to wear a jacket. Here you go with the jacket again. For episode 534, Daniel will be giving us an inside look on the art show. 
Xavier will give us a fun game of Would You Rather. And my co-host Jacob will give us an institute all about the band fundraising and how they accomplish their goal of new band uniforms. That's all we have for right now. This has been Jacob Shute. And Mackenzie Burney. See you next time, WCHS.